Good evening, everybody. Welcome in to Coach's Corner East. This last Wednesday of July 2022, I am your host, Mike Sparks, and so glad to have you aboard for this first of 34 consecutive weeks of Coach's Corner East as we'll cover fall, winter, and spring sports with Galleon, Colonel Crawford, and Crestline High Schools. Our show is brought to you tonight in part by Don Barn Associates at Galleon Building and Loan Bank, Matt Studer at Spitzer, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram and Kia, one mile east of the Richland Mall, Mark Osborne and Associates at E-Crane International, serving worldwide markets from the Galleon Industrial Park. A little later on tonight, uh, originally supposed to have representation from Crestline High School, unfortunately, their numbers are low and will not have a golf team this year, so no representation tonight from Crestline, but we will next week and the week following before we get into football. And we're gonna be talking cross country with Colonel Crawford here in just a little bit. But to get us out of the gate at the starting line for the first time this year, it's the Galleon cross country team with uh, head coach Sidney Connor and Coach Connor, thank you for joining us here tonight. Hard to believe we're back at this. It's late July, but you're about ready to get your guys and gals out on the, tra the trail and start ready for uh, the, the season, aren't you? We are ready to go. Ready to go. How many years coaching for you now? This is year eight. Number eight. Okay. Does, does, does it get easier as you get prepped and ready to go for the season? You think, well, I've done this before. It's the same thing. Yeah, different kids, but it's kind of the same thing over and over again. It is the same thing over and over, but there are also things that we need to change. So there are goals that we set for every year, and if we don't reach those the year before, then we make some changes to try to accomplish them next year. When you see kids over and over again, because hopefully they all come up as freshmen and then sophomores, juniors, and seniors, uh, that's always because you know what they have, you know what their talents are, and things along that lines. Uh, but how much excitement is there for the incoming freshmen who you may not know much about, maybe have seen them run at the junior high level, and you're like, oh, I can't wait to get them in the program and do what I need to do to get them to reach their fullest potential. Every year we talk about the freshmen and the potential that we see. We compare their times to other seniors, juniors, and what they ran in middle school and try to predict what they're going to do in high school. But it is a different ball game, and our freshmen usually come in yeah. They're nervous about that additional mile. They see the upperclassmen running 10 mile runs and they don't get excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. uh, for the freshmen, it's really just making sure that we ease them in and gather yeah, them a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> to sure. get them where they need to be. Get them kind of out of their comfort zone, and but yet be supportive and, and get them feeling comfortable around not only you as coaches, but the teammates as well. Uh, Carson Early is here uh, as assistant coach. Any other changes in assistant coaches this year or pretty much the same? We will be hiring an additional middle school coach okay. this year. Okay, good. Uh, last year, talk a little bit, just a, a quick capsulization of gals and guys last year and how you felt the team performed in 2021. Um, we, as I said, we didn't reach some of the goals that we were hoping or expecting to reach, so we kind of revamped our schedule a little bit this year. Uh, last year, we both boys and girls placed fifth in district meet. Okay. Um, the girls, of course, the year before had qualified to the state meet, so right. um, that was a disappointment for them. And the boys team had performed better than what they had since I had been, I've been coaching in Galleon. Um, so we really had high expectations for that district meet and just didn't quite get where we were hoping for. As a coach, do you kind of like that scenario of wow, we didn't reach our goals, so as a coach, I really need to get them to that point, or do you prefer, it? hey, I know what I have, I know they're gonna perform, and it maybe takes a little pressure off you as a coach. Which one do you like better? That's a loaded question. I like to take the responsibility. <laughs> yeah, good, good. good. I, I know it's not on my fault, because once we get to the meet, it's, it's their game. Correct. You know, it's up to them to do everything that we taught them and coach them and instruct them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, taking a look at the girls' side uh, coming into this year, you lose uh, Zaina Tate, who uh, just had an outstanding career uh, at Galleon, Emily McDonald, Ava Smith, and Natalie Perkins. But you returned uh, a young lady that's here tonight, Reagan Campbell, uh, as a junior. She's 
just rated number 38 in the Telegraph forums returning athletes, so kudos to you for that. I don't know if you knew that or not, but cute kudos for you for that. 28th uh, place finish in the regionals and narrowly, uh, narrowly missed a return to state by just 40 seconds last year. Gotta be happy about that, that someone comes back that, that has a lot of experience at, at, at the higher end of the tournament. Right, it's good when you have at least one person yeah. Because the state meet, it, it's, it's its own game as well. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, you can, there's nothing you can tell a child to prepare them for the state meet if they've never been there. So right, right. It's good if there's another child who can tell them right. what to expect because they listen to each other very well. And then on the boys' side, is it, was it Cannon Butler or Cannon Butler? Uh, Cannon Butler. Okay. He's gone. Kellen Kaiser's gone as well. Um, but you have some key people, they're, they're here tonight, that uh, you're, you got to be excited about as well. Yes, very excited. So what do your numbers look like early on? I know coaching officially hasn't started, not till August 1st, but early on, what do your numbers look like on both the girls and the guys' side? Our boys' numbers are down just a little bit this year. We're sitting at about 10, 12, um, and our girls' numbers are about the same as last year, like about 16. Okay. All right. And junior high, how many do you think you'll have at that level? Um, we have about 16 girls. Good. Okay. Very good. We're going to take a break here before we talk to the young people around the table. Our show is brought to you in part by Stephen Chuck Keller at Keller Auto Parts, your Napa dealer, Uptown Galley and Crestline, Dr. Thomas M. Britton at Club View Vision Center next to the golf course of Desires, and Joe uh, Kleiman Associates at the Galleon Office of First Federal Bank of Ohio. And first up, we start with the seniors, Ella Lehman. Ella, thank you so much for coming tonight. And uh, Last time on the course, are you excited about that? Are you excited to get it started? Yeah, I am. And is this your fourth year of, how many years have you been running? It's my second year. Second year. So last year as a junior, you know, what did Coach Connor say to you? Say, hey, I think you have potential to be a runner. Did she come to you or is that just something you decided on your own that you really wanted to do? Well, I decided on my own and all the coaches were like really supportive and helped me like get through it. Yeah, and as the season went on, did you just find, wow, I kind of really like this. This is therapeutic for me. Or what did you enjoy most about your first year experience? Um, I like the people. And I also liked racing and like the stuff we did at practices and stuff. Yeah, the competition. So now you're a senior. You're counted on to be a leader. Maybe not always verbal, but maybe by action. Which one fits you best? Are you a more verbal leader or are you more of a do it by example? More verbal, I would say. Verbal, okay. Are you excited about your senior year? Yeah. All right, very good. Well, wish you the best of luck. Enjoy it uh, uh, your last time to go around with that, for sure. You bet, thanks for coming. Anthony Farini, uh, did I get that right? Yeah, yeah sophomore, right? Yeah. Okay, and you ran last year as well? Uh, yeah. Okay, now it's your second year. What did you learn? What, what did you take away from last year that you can now say, been there, done there, got the t-shirt, I'm gonna be better this year? Um. I don't know, the social aspect you want to deal with, knowing people better, knowing who to stick with. Yeah. What, a, what about from the standpoint of last year, you're running against seniors, guys that are a lot older than you are. Now can you take that experience and say, okay, I get it. This is how a race should be run. Have you, have you kind of compartmentalized that in your brain and said, this is what I need to do? Yeah, a little bit, I would say. Favorite course other than your home course to run from last year? Old Fort. Oh, okay. What did you like about Old Fort? I love the hill. The hill? Most, <laughs> most people wouldn't say that. Once you get up there. Once you get up there. Of course. Everybody like, I mean, I would say this is what I would like, but I'm not going to run. But if I did, I wanted to be a flat service. But you like the hill, especially the coming down part. Well, good luck in your second year. Thank you so much for coming, and uh, won't be long. You'll be out there ready to go. So I appreciate it. Wyatt East Step as a junior. It's good to see you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing really well. Uh, back, this is your third year, I take it? Yeah. Okay. Is this the only sport that you participated in, Gabby? Um, no. I also swim and do track and do marching band at the same time I do cross country. So you run with your instrument? Yes. That's not what you meant, right? <laughs> I'm in the Gallion High School marching band. Gotcha. Okay, <laughs> perfect. All right. I mean, that'd be a real trick if you could pull that off and still score well. And I knew what you meant. So, uh, and I know you and I have probably talked with swimming and stuff before. So out of those three, which is your favorite? Um, and I know track and cross country are similar, but. 
I like cross country just a little bit more than swim, but mm -hmm. I do like swim a lot still too. Mm -hmm. And are you kind of uh, this fast starter? Are you kind of a middle guy? Do you kick it in at the end? Or? Um, I think my fastest is typically my third. Like my third is usually my fastest. My second is my slowest mile, definitely. That's okay. my biggest goal of the season, working on that second mile and just dropping some more time. So for those of us who don't know what a cross country means like, how long is it? It's 3.1 miles long. Um, the, yeah, 3.1 miles of <laughs> hills, flat land, sometimes mud. And, and that is exactly three miles too long for me. I couldn't even do the point one. So three miles would be uh, way, way too much. And what would be kind of your target PR that you'd like to get this year? Um, I'd really like to get to I'd really like to get to at least 22 this year. Okay. Um, sub 20 would be really nice, but 22, number 22 to 24 is like the hit. Okay, very good. Well, good luck to you. Uh, not only in uh, in your sports, but the, the band as well. That's an important part of the, the whole cultural experience of high school. So what instrument do you play? Um, I play the alto sax. Okay, very good, very good. All right, next we have junior Nora Harding with us. Nora, it's good to see you. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, you are a junior. So you were part of that team that made it to state yeah. two years ago. And how bitter was that in your mind and in your heart last year when you fell short and didn't reach your goal? Um, it, was, it was pretty disappointing because we knew we were losing some people, but then we figured out this year we're going to gain some people, so it helps. Helps boost the confidence a little bit. So now, as a junior, where does that motivation come from to say, you know, I like the feeling of that as a freshman. I want it back, and this is what I have to do. Where does that come from? Um, it basically just comes from seeing everybody at the state and how happy everybody was, mm -hmm. um, the feeling of getting there. And do you think this group has that potential to get back here this year? Yes. All right. What do you need to do? I, not that you're a senior like Alan here, but. You're still considered a leader. What are you going to do to help your team get to that point? Um, just build the freshmen up, build the underclassmen up, and also upperclassmen. Build everybody up just to get to that point and okay. push past their limits. Great. Any other activities that you're involved in at Gallus? Track. Track as well. Okay, very good. Thanks for coming. I certainly appreciate it. And uh, Hala Calgary is next. Hi, Hala. Hi. Good to have you here. You are a senior just like Ella. Is this your fourth year of running? Second, okay. Now, Alice said that, you know, she kind of got into it. And wanted, is that kind of the same way it worked for you? or? So my dad actually got me into it through another school. Oh. And I was very apprehensive about it because I did not like running. But through that summer, and then running with Galleon, running with Galleon really helped. So Good. I just want to continue it as long as I can. Super. Uh, it's still early. You haven't really officially started practice yet. What have you done this summer to kind of prepare your mind and your body, of course, to get ready for the rigors of practice and the meets? I have been running the work, making miles on my all around my neighborhood, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to push myself even when it feels like you're going to die. <laughs> yeah. Especially some of the hot days we've had, right? Oh, especially when it's really humid, yeah. But do you prefer that, or do you like the cooler weather, less humid weather to run it? I love cool weather. To okay. Be okay. And uh, the excitement's got to be there coming into your your uh, your last year. Uh, what is kind of your personal goal that you've set for yourself that you want to accomplish in your last year running? You mean time wise? Yeah, sure. I want to get down to like 21, 22s. Okay. Maybe like even over 20 would be ideal, but. I'll be satisfied with 21, 22. Very good. Well, good luck to you. I wish you the best and thanks for coming. You did a great job. Reagan Campbell is a junior and uh, welcome to the show, Reagan. It's good to have you. Did you realize you were the, that rated that high as an athlete and well, returning athlete? I didn't know where I was in the top 40, but I knew I was on there somewhere. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> uh, you obviously had a good year, just missed going to state. Uh, 40 seconds, you think, well, that doesn't seem like much, but in a race, it kind of is a little bit, right? Uh, how disappointed were you when that when you found out you weren't going? Um, I was pretty disappointed, but I was so happy with myself that I made it there considering my injury. Oh, well, you were dealing with an injury. Okay, are you better now? Yes. Okay, so you're ready to go yeah. and kind of blow that 40 seconds out of the water, and, and, and it's got to be a driving force for you to say, I was so close and I want to get there. 
so as you think about that, what have you done to prepare for this coming year coming up? Um, I've been kind of trying to rest a little bit, but still trying to work my hardest just so I don't hurt myself again. Yeah, that, that's great. I'm glad you brought that up. Is it kind of hard? And, and you know, maybe does coach kind of say, don't go so hard this week or take a day off or maybe not take it fully off, but go a little a lighter. Is there a lot of that communication back and forth? Or you just kind of make a decision. I know my body better than anybody and I know what I can put in today. No, if I tell coach, she just tells me exactly what to do. Okay. And I, you like it that way? Yeah. All right. Very good. Well, shave that 40 seconds and get yourself back down to state. Uh, still at OVEX, is that where they're running that? Okay, so hopefully you'll get there and uh, I'll look forward to uh, seeing the results here. Thanks so much for coming. You bet. And finally, Holden Gabriel is a senior. How are you? I'm very good. Good. Thank yes. you for coming tonight. I appreciate it. And uh, all four years that you've been a runner? Well, actually, I've been running for six years because I ran seventh and eighth grade back in middle school. Wow. Has it gone quick? I mean, you think about it. This is your last year of high school and your last time of running cross country. Has it gone quick for you? Um, honestly, not really, because uh, uh, you have so many people around you that just make it feel like so lengthy. Not in a bad way, but like, <laughs> like you, have all, you, have, you have all these good times. I've met so many great people. I think uh, cross country made me, uh, helped me make me make the best friends I ever had. Uh, Calvin Kaiser, who just left, he's my best friend ever. Mm -hmm. He's been with me since the beginning, and it was sad to see him go, but I, I still keep in touch with him. I'm still looking forward to uh, what he has to do in the future, and I'll always uh, see him as like a brother to me. Yeah, that's great that you put it that way, and now you're that guy. Yes. Now the, the younger kids are going to look up to you the same way you looked up to him. Absolutely. But that comes with a responsibility. Yes, it, it is a great responsibility. Uh, it's not just um, just going out and running, okay, okay uh, we're doing this, we're doing that. You know, you, sometimes you have to communicate with them, and sometimes uh, uh, cross country it has kind of taught me that uh, you can get on a more personal level with people because like it's such a it, it becomes such a family. Right. This has become like a second family to me, and I've had some good times with people, uh, hard times with them as well, and I just it it really helps just communicate with them and explain to them how you're feeling and what you want to do, especially like on runs. Like if you're not feeling so well uh, or you're injured, it's it's good to keep that communication so you can, so people can tell you what to do. Well, I'll tell you what, the short time you, uh, you and I have spoken, I can see the leadership qualities, I can hear it in your voice. Uh, you certainly have that mindset then. Uh, if, if you can demonstrate that to the rest of your team, you're gonna be a okay in my book. So thank you very much. Yeah, best of luck to you. Thank you. You bet. Take another break here, and then we're going to come back and talk to assistant coach Carson Early. Uh, show is brought to you in part by the Burkhart family at the Burkhart Farm Center. Your case IH dealer, straight west of Galleon on the Nanette, New Winchester Road. Mike Finite at Act Credit Residential Lending, Cyrus Montgomery and the Marion. Sweet Baby Ray Jones and uh, Kendra Weaver at Pine Thorn Sachs, 120 South Street in Galleon, as well as Mark Osborne at Ecrane International, Route 598, the north edge of Galleon. Assistant Coach Carson Early is here with us as well. Thank you for joining. I appreciate that. And how many years assisting? Uh, this will be my seventh. Seventh year. And you didn't say, well, I don't want to talk because I don't have much of a voice, but we'll try to get through it. I'll make it pretty easy. Um, first day of coaching is, is another week away. Start on uh, Monday, August 1st. And Coach Connor already talked about the numbers. Are you, are you pretty happy with that? Or I, I think coaches always want more, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, we, any coach wants more kids, but we've got a great group here, so it's good to work with them. Looks like uh, when I was looking at your schedule on the OHSAA, uh, August 27th, you're going to be at Colonel Crawford for the Kip Kin invite. Uh, is that always a good way to start out? Do you like that? Um, this is the first time we've actually gone there okay. since we've been coaching. Um, like Coach said, we have changed up our schedule. Um, we had Crawford this year. We had the night race this year. Yeah, I saw that. There's just some different races that we just felt like we wanted to, to get off our schedule and put some others on, so see different different teams and think we could have a really successful year. Does that concern you a little bit? Because you're going to be seeing potentially some venues, some some tracks that these kids have never seen before. Do you like that? Mm -hmm. I do. I think that it, um, our kids like the challenge mm -hmm. um, and just like going to different places. They get excited about that, seeing something new and. Such so, just not the same thing over and over. Right, right, same old song and dance. Uh, you're hosting a, a festival on the 17th of September. Talk about that a little bit. Um, 
that's uh, one of our biggest. Um, I know we've been, uh, we were, I think, fourth at one time in the state. Is that right? And then COVID, when COVID hit, our numbers started going down a little bit. So mm -hmm. we're still trying to build that back up again. Um, we're trying to do some different things, um, but just, it's, it's a great meet. Um, a lot of a lot of teams throughout the state come, um, all divisions. Um, do a lot of middle school, uh, but you know, so kind of like a mini Tiffin Carnival, right? Yeah. Uh, smaller version of that. We're catching up. Catching up. That's good to hear. <laughs> well, uh, you're going to have an exciting year and uh, lots of participation, which is good. Uh, it seems as if, even though we haven't officially coached, start coaching yet, kids seem excited. They're ready to go. Uh, what's the biggest thing that you could share with them in the Galleon community that you really want to get out of these kids this year? Well, our first step is starts on Friday and we'll head off to camp for five days on Friday. So that will really build the team bonding and the, the workouts that we put in for those five days will get us more ready for the season. And, um, just, I, I guess, for the community to continue to keep an eye out for our kids when they're out running and keep yeah. them safe. That's great. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, they'll be out on the roads, and so watch out for the young people that are uh, putting in the extra effort to get ready for the season and just be aware that they're out there. That's a great, uh, great share. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Thanks so much for coming out. Good luck to all of you. Enjoy it. Remember those hot days. I'm hoping for cooler days down there. <laughs> but uh, have a great season. Have a great experience, all of you, and best of luck to you. Thank you very much. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with Jordan Studer and the Colonel Crawford cross-country team right after this.